13 years. Yeah, so I think I first came when I first got my driver's permit, and maybe it wasn't legal for me to be driving here. But poetry was my survival, and I needed it, or I knew I wasn't going to be okay. Um, and I always, so I snuck a car and came here, and I've always done poems alone and sort of found my family and my community with the people here, with the other poets, and healed together. But tonight is a really weird, unique night, because it's the first night I didn't come alone. The two women who have stepped up in my life and sort of taken on the mother role are here for the first time watching me do poetry. Manny with the hair, gray hair, and CJ. My grandma was like, you're not going to do like a really sexual poem, are you? <laughs> you're not going to embarrass me, are you? Well, this one's for them. I wrote this when I was like 17, so I think I probably performed it here. Thank you guys for being here. Can you scream at me again? I need your energy. Yeah? One, two, three. Oh! I'm not a he or a she. I'm a prickly paired cactus waiting to bloom. Waiting to cut holes through the sheets of ominous doom. Waiting to peel off the duct tape on society's lips as propriety dances on each manicured fingernail's tips. Frantically, sanity's breeze blows by as practicality begs these roots to stay dug in the dirt. Spine needles push the turf of the skin to ward off any men who may flirt or insert their criteria of what a lady should be. What pretty should be. These rough, curved shouts stay away because somewhere between the merry-go-round and the monkey bars, I was taught being pretty isn't safe. Being pretty isn't fun. So I rip out my pigtail, shake my head, and run. Run to the desert, run towards the sunset, dance with the coyotes, feel the dust on my tongue. Embodying the fact that not everybody needs to go through life feeling numb. Succumbing to the dazzling stars, disregarding the words that lingered from my mother's lips. Lacey, comb your hair. Lacey, get out of the dirt. Identity is a performance. And ever since that morning in the fifth grade when I woke up to two lumps on my chest and started bleeding with the moon, I knew it all started too soon. I could have been playing cops and robbers with the boys down the street. Instead, my mother insisted, ladies act sweet. That 12-year-old wasn't ready from the whistling from men and the drilling from boys. I just wanted to jump in a ditch and catch crawdads as if they were toys. But my mom was too busy fixing my hair, and my aunts were too busy clearing my skin. All the while knowing beauty is a sin, a curse of the ego, an endless competition that, honey, you're never going to win. Because no matter how pretty you are, you'll never compare to the beauty that exerts from a pack of coyotes howling under a forgiving moon. See, I'm not a boy or a girl. I'm a prickly paired cactus waiting to bloom. Woo-hoo!